Darren, I'll start with the news of Efron coming off. Obviously, it looked a nasty one. How's how's he been? Um, he's pretty dazed in there, um, and he's been sick once or twice. So we believe he's got some concussion. Uh, it was a it was a nasty challenge. I think, without accusing anyone, it was maybe intentional because Efron's a threat, and they probably wanted to put their marker down early and the lads left his arm and he's in the side of Efron's head but listen I'm not it's not an accusation that's how how I saw it um and you know it sort of it took a it took a, a, a danger man away from us because I thought Efron started the game well he was he's clearly a threat whenever he plays um and for the early part of the game a lot of what we was doing, the game plan was okay. We was we was frustrating and 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 trying to counter attack, and that, and that was the plan today. But you know that very quickly got undone. It wasn't just Efron individually that started well. I felt as a team we we started brightly, and just when we conceded, it just seemed we just seemed to lose it from there. That's because we're soft. We're soft. I've got I've got a lot of boys in there. I haven't got enough men. Uh, not enough people that want to take responsibility. I need to take responsibility, and I will do because it's my job. Uh, and I come out here week in, week out, and, and defend them boys. And sometimes rightly, sometimes wrongly. Um, but not enough men. There's not enough. You know, it's it's a real softness about us. We concede. I don't see enough people looking around the pitch trying to get each other going again. You know, we, we, it's it's almost like everyone just goes within themselves, and then that leads to. Second goal, whether he meant it or not, it's a it's a wonderful shot, cross, whatever. You know, I don't want to take any credit away from him. Um, and we find ourselves in that position again when we're climbing mountains, and it's a it's a real bad habit of ours. But like I say, you know, it's it's very difficult to climb them mountains when I've got too many boys. It's starting to become a common theme that I'm asking you about the performance of. Scott Loach, I mean, without him, it certainly could have been a lot worse today. Listen, Lochi, Lochi's terrific. I mean, in my opinion, he's, a, he's the best in the league. You know, he's a, he's a real leader. And I just said to the young ones in there, they got, a, you know, they need to learn off of people like Lochi, James Dunn. You know, these boys have played in the league, and that's where all these young ones are aspiring to get to. But I don't know why they think they're owed it. I don't know why they think they only have to turn up and have a nice game of football and then someone's going to come and take them into League 2, League 1 etc and then you've got to fight and you've got to work hard to get that opportunity to either take us into the league or get or, or get yourself a move into the league but certainly they can all forget about playing any higher than this level if, uh, if they keep playing as soft as they have today and just finally obviously we saw you have a chat with the fans at the end of the game and 54 of them have come up here it's a massive away day for them. And listen, to them. listen, and they've come up and they're frustrated. They've spent their money and they wanted to voice their opinion at the end, which I get. But you know, when I got told or shouted at that I don't care, that's that. You know, you can you can have a go at my tactics, the team selection, you know, the style of play. I get that because that's the opinion of the of the game we're in. But not that I don't care. I'm 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 not. I've got to defend myself there because I care about this club. I'm not having people labelled that I don't care because football means everything to me.